going to be a healthier lifestyle, but not as healthy as you might think. Okay, well, the, I'm going to tell you about this other study I heard about where it's Beautiful. good for you to get up and get moving. There's a new study that says if you have to sit for long periods of time, what you have to do is every few minutes get up and stretch and move around and do all that good stuff. You know who I'd like to see break a move right now? Our new traffic person, Jonathan Hansen. This is about, this is about all I got for you guys. <laughs> work it out. Yeah, I'm trying to work it out. Uh, things that aren't working out, however, Harlem and 78th Street got a building fire in Bridgeview. They're working on the scene between 76th and 78th Street, so avoid the area at all costs. Also right now on the inbound Eisenhower, we've got a rollover accident at First Avenue causing a backup from Wolf on into First. Gapers in the opposite direction, so pretty much from the tri-state on in, you're going to be hitting the brakes. And over on the south side at Taylor and California, water main break. It's been gushing for hours, and it's going to continue for some time, so avoid the area at all costs. That's it for right now. Back to you guys. You know how it is. It's spring. You get the showers. You get the storms. Maybe a little sunny day wedges in there somewhere, and sadly, we are in one of the rainy ones right yeah. now. So you know, Jonathan, that's going to make for a total mess out there on the roadways this morning. Huh? Yeah, it's not fun out there, and then especially not fun out in Bridgeview. They're dealing with a building fire. Crews are on the scene at Harlem and 78th. 78th is closed between Harlem and 76th for staging, so just avoid the area at all costs. Now on the expressways on the inbound Eisenhower at First Avenue, we've got a rollover accident blocking two left lanes. It's going to cause gapers on the outbound side. Crews are on the scene. And uh, over on the south side, over at Taylor and California, a waterman break. Speaking about rain showers, it's gushing water out of California and Taylor. It's going to continue for a few hours, so avoid the area at all costs. Back to you guys. First thing right now, we got a building fire in Bridgeview at Harlem and 78th Street. This crews are on the scene, got a couple injuries. It's blocked between 76th and Harlem, so avoid the area if you can. On the area, expressways are major incident right now on the inbound Eisenhower rollover accident at First Avenue in the two left lanes. Backups all the way to Wolf on the inbound side. Outbound, you do have some Gabers delays, so be careful around the area. And on the south side at California and Taylor Street, got a water main break. It's causing gushing water all over the place, and they tell us it's going to continue for a few hours, so avoid the area at all costs. Back to you guys. I did the, I had a beard, so I did yeah. the traffic emergency. Uh, traffic emergency. That's awesome. That's awesome. awesome. Thank you. It. That was a lot of fun to do. This is a traffic emergency guy. <laughs> yeah, no, and uh, I shaved for you guys. Though, good. But <laughs> this has been really fantastic. You guys have done a really welcoming job. I, I really didn't expect nice anything, how nice you guys have been and everything. So, awesome. so what do you so, do in media relations? Oh, I don't, I used to be, um, actually for a while I did some work over at Metro Shadow Broadcasting, just doing some producing for traffic, mm. uh, which has been great because I've gotten to know the roads pretty well. Yeah. Um, right now I do a lot of stand-up comedy and trying do to make you. it work in other things. So cool. I do a lot of video, some video production stuff as well. What's your stand-up comedy theme? You know, everybody's got like their... Oh, I don't know. I'm not one of those, isn't it funny? When... I don't know. I tell stories. My family is just crazy. Like family stories. Family stories growing up. What's, this... your, what's your best story about your family? Oh, I don't think I can tell you guys right now. Oh, my best story about my family? Oh, <laughs> I really can't share that. I, you know, my brother My brother has just burned down so many things in our lawn, in our house, that he really, he was my older brother, he really set the bar on knowing what I could or couldn't burn down as a child. <laughs> the lawn gets you grounded for a month. Setting off fireworks in your upstairs bedroom in the family room, or in the family room gets you about a week. <laughs> 